Hello everyone. This is my first English video on this channel. And the uh, main reason is it's just an experiment because I see many viewers who are interested in my drone videos. They are not only from the Netherlands, so they have a hard time to understand my language. And uh, that also applies to German people as well. Not all German people are very strong in Dutch. So I hope you like it. Let's go fly the drone. You can see the website flylitchy.com in front of me now and um, we are going to Mission Hub. I already made a waypoint and saved it in my hub and now I'm going to open it under missions. Go to open then find the waypoints mission that you created. In this case it's Zwalm, last kilometer, open. All right, let's go. Well, off we go then, 50 meters altitude. And as you will notice in a couple of seconds, I will start to tilt my gimbal, my camera downwards because I want to focus. I want to emphasize that little beautiful river and not too much of that gray, dull sky and background because that's not what I want to uh, capture. So you have seen now I tilted a bit. Now the drone is preparing itself to go to the left, yes, and will follow its way to waypoint three. And this is a beautiful way to explore a river from above to see whether it's possible for me to go there on my kayak or paddling board or whatever. And besides that, you have cool footage you can share with other people. And so, you have two things for the price of one. And uh, it was an older fellow walking his dog and he uh, was curious and he asked me, uh, can I watch with you on your screen? I said, no problem, uh, take a look. And he was very surprised actually, he's living quite close to that river. And he said, that's the first time for me to see it like that. So that's also a nice aspect of flying drones. And this is how all things work in Litchi on my iPhone. So it's the same flight, but the other images is a direct drone image. And this is from the app itself, just to show you how it works. Well, that was fun. It was a nice old man with his dog. And I asked him, uh, like always, when I'm flying my drone, if someone is coming close with a dog, they can be very frightened. And he said, no, it's no problem. And he wanted to watch over my shoulder the footage I was uh, recording. It's nice, always meeting new people. So this is super, super handy because I don't know this trajectory of the river Zwalm. 
and I've never been there. You can't get very close to the to the river um, because it's very wet. There's wetlands there, uh, marsh, and for that reason, the drone waypoints experiment is a fantastic solution. So I'm going to explain you some things about the missions that you make. Let's uh, make a new one. So we are going to new and we are going to rebuild it. So what I'm doing right now is just click on the point where I'm standing. So in this case, I was standing here. And for, let's say we are standing here on this part of the road. And then you can see there's popping up. Just click with the mouse. There's popping up number one. You can see the altitude here, standard 30 meters. Well, that for me is too risky because I know there's a lot of trees here that are taller. They are at least 30 meters, 35 probably. And I think 50 meters is a nice altitude to, uh, to fly without uh, crashing into trees. Then the speed cruising, uh, you can adjust it here. I just left it at cruising speed. Then this is very important, the heading. As you can see, as we zoom in now, the direction of the camera is pointed to the north. But I don't want that. I want the drone start filming that way. The camera has to point to that way. So how do I do that? Just by playing around here with these sliders. And now you can see my camera is pointed to east, to the east, to the river. And then it starts to fly. Well, let's say we are flying until here. Just click for your next waypoint. It's number two and it copies the altitude from your number one. So um, you don't have to change that. If you want to uh, increase your altitude, then you have to change it, of course, at this number two waypoint. Um, and as you can see, we have a distance of 260 meters nearly. And um, But as soon as the drone hits this river over the river here, it, the river disappears because the camera is still pointing to the east. So what can you do now is just play around a bit. The drone will start to turn around its axis and start filming the river you want to film. So now you can see it goes from, it starts here at point one and goes to number two. Number two, it sounds like uh, going to the toilet. It's, I have to uh, change that uh, expression. Uh, okay, let's go this way. We want the whole river. Number three, so you can see total distance now is 565 meters. It will take the drone two minutes to accomplish that. So make sure your battery is uh, maximum charged. Um, we keep at 50 meters and camera position might be a little different. Maybe something like this, yes. So we want to uh, reach our end destination. That is where the Zwalm is flowing into the mass, into the an old uh, mass arm. I don't know the English word. It's uh, it's an old, uh, yeah, whatever. You you know what I mean. <laughs> so okay, let's go to number four, the end station here. Just click, and maybe we can focus a little bit on that direction like this yes so and now we've seen enough or maybe we want to do the whole way back from the other side of the river so we go to uh, for example this spot here number five just make sure that the camera is pointing to where it makes sense then we go to uh, number six maybe you can turn around again here like this and then just make sure that where you begin where your start point is your starting point make sure you end there as well number seven and then you take over manually and then your flight is accomplished and um, next time in other videos I will explain more stuff here about the focus point of view interpolate and stuff like that it's getting too long for this video now it's already long uh, that's why I uh, cut it into uh, chapters so you can scroll easily from chapter to chapter. 
Well, I'm very uh, excited now to, um, to download my drone images from my drone, take a look and look how the flight was. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something from this beautiful app called Litchi. Um, just give it a try. And um, if you have comments or questions, just drop it here in the comments and I will try my best to give you an answer or a solution to a certain thing you want to know. I hope you liked it. Go enjoy these drone images and I'll see you back next time. And probably in English again when it's drone related stuff and I keep it in Dutch when I'm going on the water.